Hey everyone, my name is David Dunbar, or the theme park evangelist. I've actually been here for the past two and a half hours, <coughs> but I'm only just now starting my my vlog because I've been with because Kay and I have been with my brother the past few hours. Jonathan, my brother, that is hates being on uh, YouTube, <laughs> and I don't blame him. I mean, not it's not for everybody. So I'm going to give you guys the a quick rundown of everything we've done this morning or this afternoon. Uh, as soon as we came in, we went and did the uh, Great Lego race right away. So I'm going to do a quick review on that. Uh, basically, you uh, get in your car and you get a headset or goggles right off the bat. You put it on, you adjust it from the back, and then there's a knob on the in the dead center on the front of your uh, goggles where you can adjust the uh, clearness. It doesn't always work. Kay discovered that herself. Um, so I did also discovered that if you uh, hold the uh, goggles right in front of your eyes, it'll help. You're basically in a uh, race with a bunch of other characters. I guess you could look around if you want, but I didn't personally because I have a bit of a motion sickness problem. But I felt like it did improve the ride quite a bit, and because I've railed the ride enough times, I knew what to expect when the ride did its drops and its turns whenever I did them. So I did not get off sick. I was all panicked, like, oh no, what if I'm going to get motion sick, yada, yada, yada. Um, Kay, how did you enjoy the ride? It was okay. I mean, it was because the head, um, headset wasn't adjusted well for me. It was a worry. <laughs> but uh, it was pretty cool. You know, you just couldn't see exactly where you're going because I was really glad for it really the blurred image in front of me, so. Mm hmm But I didn't know until after I took it off. There's an adjustment on top of the head. It's happening. It was sitting too low on my face. So I couldn't look through the things. And down here, when I put it here, it was a little better. But by then, it was too late. You know, it's hard to do this. I'm a little bit too, so. But it was pretty cool. Now, personally, would you do that one again? Yeah, can't describe that. Yeah, let me just make that right clear for you guys. She is not kidding. Um, the headset is not required. I'm sure there's a lot of you guys that think you have to wear the headset to ride the Great Lego Race. Formerly known as Project X, but you do not. It's a complete option. They actually will ask you right before you get on, do you want to wear the headset or no? So... Don't feel like you have to wear the headset. And uh, some people um, that have rode the ride did not know how to put the headset on and how to do a re-ride. And I guess we were good after the first time, so that's why we didn't do it again. I'm sure we might do it later. We might. We, we don't know. We still haven't done everything yet. Uh, we pretty much have done everything in the, the uh, like Technic Zone. I can't even put this down. But yeah, we did everything in the uh, Lego Technic area. We did a few rides over in Lego City. We had uh, ice cream over at that firehouse, yeah. Uh, we all had uh, ice cream sundaes, the single person one. It was way better than that creative shake I had at the uh, beginning of the park. I mean, other than that, um, today's been really nice. Uh, very quiet around here other than a few school groups. But other than that, very pleasant. We just got off the uh, Costa Source a little bit ago, and we just uh, refilled uh, the cup that we have right here. Um, just a minute or so ago, we had sat down just to take a little break and decide where we're going to go. Yeah, I got that like a way while ago. My brother got us in here, so that's why we're here today. It's been a long time since I've been over here. I can't even remember when. And the last time Kay and I came here, we didn't even get to ride the dragon because it was too busy. And today it's like... Huge improvement. Like when we came in, we were parking almost up to the preferred parking, so that says a lot. So, okay, is there anything you want to do next? We're between the Lost Kingdom Adventure and the Dragon, so we're about a two minute walk from each one. So, you want to go do the Dragon? Since you haven't done it yet? Oh, that uh, one ride where you uh, shoot at the targets. Well, I mean, you haven't done the dragon. That's the only reason why. All right, so we'll do the dragon first, and then we'll head back this way. Let's go.
So the best part about today, we're TJ free. <laughs> I'm off on a day he's working, and I know he's off for the next three days, and I'm working at Tomorrowland Speedway the next three days. So that's okay. I don't have to be off the same day as he does. He thinks he that I me have to be off the same day as he does for whatever odd reason. Hey, he, he uses that to his advantage, like, I'm off, David's working, like, so, I, I'm off when you're not, so why does it matter all of a sudden when I'm, you know, working when he's not? Like, what's the difference, you know? So I tried teasing him, and then that backfired against me, I was like, really? Eh, it's whatever, I can't say I didn't try. So what's with the gazebo over there? Not that you can see it on the camera. There it is. Oh, and those uh, cubbies over there. No, after, uh, after the car gets thrown up, they'll cross over. After the car gets back, they'll cross over over there. Oh, oops, sorry. I know, isn't that annoying? So, why is there a gazebo over there? I think, I think. It's kind of weird. Yeah, we're uh, about to get on the dragon now. This was the uh, headliner attraction for this park for a while, but uh, now it's Ninjago, or the Great Lego Race, I should say. So, Kim, what did you think of your first time riding the dragon? The inside portion is definitely the best part of it. That's why I like mild, it. Very mild. Oh yeah, way more mild than Cosasaurus. Yeah. Well, faster than Cosasaurus on some Yeah, exactly. And uh, she wants to go do the Achima ride. I don't feel like getting wet today, so I'll film her while she's on it. I'll just have to make sure that I back off whenever I see boats coming at me. That way, I can spray her with water. That'd be funny. <laughs> I just don't, as I know that if I see right there on top of the cannons, then I'm guaranteed to get wet. I'll meet her at the exit that way. So this will be fun. So this one is kind of cool right now. It's a very quiet day, as you can tell, because almost every single boat is empty. When I first um, came here when the ride of the park, or this attraction, I should say, first opened, this ride had a very long wait time. I've seen nothing but empty boat after empty boat after empty boat. But the way you get soaked in this ride is actually quite interesting because you have to hit certain targets throughout the ride. They're like that one right there, like that blue one. So you want to hit that as much as you can, which use a, uh, whatever you call it, crank on your, uh, Oh, and by the way, I'm holding Kit wearing K's uh, backpack right now because she is on the uh, ride. Once I see her coming around the corner, I'm going to do my best to film and also crank the cannon at the same time. At least I don't have to worry about too many people coming through because it's so quiet out right now. And then by the time she gets off, we'll just keep moving. So yeah, I've just been looking for her right now. I don't see her yet. It shouldn't take her too long to get on the ride. It's like a five minute walk on it and she moves pretty quick. Can't believe my battery's almost halfway gone already. There's Kay right now. Of course, both water cannons are being occupied right now. So I'm just kind of standing here filming. She'll be coming around the corner when she comes. She'll be coming around the corner when she comes. Oh, here comes Kay. How wet have you gotten? How wet have you gotten? Your back is soaked? Yeah, if you hit the right target, you'll get very wet. Oh, time for me to back up again. Nice try, though. Ah, dang it, you still got me.
Watch she's having fun. Ah, she's getting away. I'm gonna follow her all the way near the exit. Alright, the last turn they have before they go to the exit. What's the wait for a walk? No, it's a walk on. I can't believe I actually got what? What is this? Alright, I'll see her at the exit, I guess. So I've been sitting here for the past five minutes or so. Trying to figure out why isn't Kate coming out the exit? Because I'm sitting over by the exit. Turns out she went on a second time because if it's really slow like it is today, plus if you want to rewrite, of course Kate loves water rides a lot. So she's like, sure, why not? So I saw her back from here. And I'm like, oh dear beef now. So hopefully this will be her last time because I'm ready to keep moving on myself. But I'll get another chance to uh, film her again as she comes back around. And ever since I started filming, my battery went. <laughs> it's okay, the park is only up until 5. We're going over to our uh, best friend's house where I can turn her boyfriend. And, um,. My mom's gonna pick me up from there and take me home, and I'll get my phone charger back and plug my baby in and get my uh, video uploaded to YouTube. Hey, Tim, this is one thing that I have done that you haven't, and that's ride the Great Lego Race. But I came on a quiet day because I'm smart. Not to mention, my brother works a lot of the uh, attractions on that side of the uh, park, so bleh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I still love you, Tim. Here comes Kay right now. I got shot. What am I ever going to do? On the leg. Alright, hopefully that will be your last time. What I didn't see you get off the first time, I figured as much that you had written again. Right. The last time I came here before the Great Lego Race, I uh, came into play back when it was called Project X. So I was standing in line. Last time I discovered, oh, Legoland has free Wi-Fi now. So I was trying to connect to it. At first, it wasn't working. Oh, okay. And today, um, same thing. I went over to the Great Lego Race, Project X, connected to the Wi-Fi, but this time it worked. Yeah. <laughs> go figure. Uh, we're gonna go do the uh, Lost Kingdom Adventure ride where you get guns and you can uh, shoot at targets. Okay, cool. I usually use two guns just as a joke, but it's easier to sit with somebody else. Yeah. That way you can do like one gun and the other person does the other gun. Right. Because sometimes I'll make jokes like two guns or like two tie-ins, you know. Yeah, that kind of makes fun of some singers or rappers. Yeah, we gotta do Ninjago while we're here. Oh yeah, we definitely gotta do Ninjago. I mean, it's already 324. So we got about an hour and 36 minutes left of the park. Yeah, nobody's here today, so it's nice. We've almost done everything. We'll have time to do re-rides before the park closes. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I know, right? I'm almost at my 20-minute mark of this video. I think that's where I'll end it when I hit 20. I can't believe I'm doing this, but... Are you really? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, so they letting us stay on it. Now we're gonna go back on it again. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, beat the last one. Oh, okay, that's fine. I wasn't filming the dark right portion. I was being a good boy. I feel like I should put this down here, maybe hold it with my feet. Yeah, this is a fun ride, because uh, even though it's tougher than Buzz Lightyear or Men in Black, so to speak, it's different, and that's what makes it fun. I only beat her by a thousand last minute. I don't know, guys. Do you think we should re-ride again? 
We did even worse. I say nah. Is that Universal or is that Disney? Yes, Rock the Universe is at Universal. We're on our way to Lego Ninjago right now. The one ride we have not yet done today, considering it's already almost 3.42. We got a little over an hour to uh, re do some re-rides before we head out of here. Swing by the big shop on our way out. They got a store in Miniland coming in, by the way. We're going to take a quick peek at what's coming before we head over to Ninjago. This probably will be one of my longer vlogs. So it's, considering we're almost done, I'm going to see if I can get to the 20-minute mark. Or at least almost to the 20-minute mark. And then stop for the day, considering my battery is almost down to 29% already. We'll see if my phone battery will even last that long. I guess we're doing something called Star Wars Days. Um, this starting this weekend all the way through the rest of the month. Considering today is May Day. May 1st, 2018. Three years ago today, Avengers 2 came out, Age of Ultron. I remember when that came out. I went to Disney Springs to their movie theater over there. So much fun. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen the Star Wars Miniland, this is all, of course, episode one right here. Episode two. And then they should have a episode three right over here. Soon they're going to have episode seven in there. So I love how they skipped right over four, five, and six. I'm sorry. Four, five, and six sucked. That was the ones with the Andrican, right? With the what? With the Andrican or whatever the kid's name was. Episodes yeah. four, five, and six, the original trilogy? They consider that, I consider those the first. Sorry. Yeah, these are the prequels. These are the ones that sucked. Especially number two. Number two was by far the worst Star Wars movie of all time. That's why we didn't watch the next one after that for a long time. Too. Actually, Revenge of the Sith was decent. Number one was good. Number two sucked. And then number three was really good. And then four, five, and six were way were like by far the best. And then we got seven and eight so far. So here's first, episode three. See, I consider the first three the first trilogy. The first yeah, those were the first three that ever came out. Of the Jedi and um, Star Wars New Land. That is kind of cool how they have that. Yeah, I don't think I've been over here in quite some time. Jonathan doesn't realize this is already open over here. Oh, we got more behind us. I didn't see that. Oh my goodness, how did we miss that? Oh, they do have four, five, and six. Oh, I love that song. Oh, yeah, the bars. oh yeah, we gotta press that button again. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, wow, the man Falcon taking off. I almost thought it was lifting off on its own, and then I saw that mechanism, I'm like, oh man. That's cool. That is so cool. I don't realize it was open, but you thought they were opening up. No, he meant, like, episode 7 is what they're opening. They're adding on to uh, what they already have. Here is episode 5. By far, my favorite Star Wars movie of all time. Which episode 5. They look like Star Wars the first. There's more of episode 5. They don't even think they have anything from episode 6. RGT2 and C3PO. Oh, wow. Oh, there's on the TIE Fighter. I mean, X-Wings. There's an X-Wing fighter. They don't have any of the little, um, tie fighters, I guess it's called. Yeah, I guess not. Oh, here's Darth Vader. I saw him. You want a picture of him? Sure, go for it. Alright, let's do it. Okay. Here you go, guys. Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens mini land model display opening Star Wars Day this Friday. I'm actually working at Tomorrowland Speedway all day long that day. I would prefer to be at Hollywood Studios considering it's a Star Wars park. I had originally uh, planned this uh, Star Wars part day party, and then Kay said, uh, you know that it starts at like 4 in the morning, right? And I was like, what? It does? 
It's like, oops, that's okay, I'm on Cinco de Mayo. And I heard that if you ride the Mexico ride, this is according to TJ, of course, you get a free taco. I think he's just trying to talk me into... I'll go ride it with you. I was getting a front end that day. Huh? I'm getting a front end that day from uh, Publix. I just don't know how badly I want to ride the Mexico ride over at Epcot because I'm under this false impression that if you ride the Mexico ride and Cinco de Mayo, the skeletons will come to life and eat you. Yeah, right. <laughs> sure. Alright, I think I'm filming, but I can't tell. Yep, I am. Sorry. <laughs> so, that pretty much wraps up my vlog. Um, we're about to go ride Lego Ninjago now that we've swung by the Lego Star Wars Mini Land. As you saw, they're putting in a brand new Mini Land set um, this Friday. Hopefully, they'll bring in The Last Jedi. Not the lost Jedi, like I accidentally said earlier, um, eventually. But at least we got something new coming in. I don't even see anything from episode 6 that I mentioned earlier. Maybe that will eventually come in too, we'll see. So after we do with Lego Ninjago, since we got a little over an hour before the park closes, we'll do some re-rides. And then we're going to head out of here. Me walk over to my store. And uh, wait for her best friend to come pick us up, take us back to his place until my mom can come get me. I'm gonna go home and get this uploaded to YouTube. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. I actually gotta do uh, my Infinity War movie review when I go home still. Saw that back last Friday night. And I still need to tell you guys how last Tuesday went when I went to my service awards at Pu for Publix. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. See you guys in the next vlog. Always remember, you can do all things through Christ's strength as you.